Ashley Fickle alongside Greg Tepper at the conclusion of the 1A Division II State Championship. And how about those strong Greyhounds? 73-28 to over Motley County, and they 45 of them in the third quarter. And a, a thoroughly dominating effort from Strawn. We came into this game uh, thinking that this was really a referendum on who the number one team in 1A Division 2 is. You know, we talked about how there's a healthy debate between, I don't think there was any doubt it was either Strawn or Motley County and today, Strawn left no doubt. That was a dominating performance from stem to stern. Uh, a lot of this comes down to, obviously we're going to talk a lot about Grayson Rigdon, the freshman, the superstar freshman who was unbelievable in this game. Lorenzo Garcia, uh, a unit, was un <laughs> was exceptional in this game. But give a lot of credit to the Strawn defense, which made Motley County's running game basically uh, took them out of the game. And that's, the, that's where Motley County wants to live, is in the running game. They tried to take the top off the defense. They weren't able to do it. Furthermore, Strawn forces three first-half turnovers. That, to me, was the name of the game. They were able to jump out to a lead and make Motley County chase. They were able, never able to do it. And in the end, Strawn brings home their fifth state championship. And you mentioned it before, but... Grayson Rigdon was just that guy. And he's got his older brother, uh, Griff, who's a senior on the team. But, I mean, you pointed it out. I didn't realize he was a freshman before this. And you said, oh, by the way, that stud down there, he's a freshman. And I was like, oh, my goodness. I mean, through and through, the absolute most dominant player on the field today. Yeah, he's like 14. I mean, <laughs> he was absolutely sensational in this game, running the ball. Uh, he had a 79-yard touchdown run that really broke this game open. Uh, this guy was absolutely the most dominant player on the field. And some Sometimes you see that in six-man football. There's just one guy that you do not have an answer for, and Motley County never had an answer for Grayson Rigdon. He was exceptional. The offensive line did a great blo job blocking. Offensive line doesn't exist in six-man football. Great blocking on the outside. Uh, just a thoroughly dominant performance. This was as emphatic a victory as you're going to see in a state championship game. I mean, this was this was stem to stern. Strawn was the better team. They left no doubt today. And what does that say about Coach Dwayne Lee and what he's done here? I mean, this was his fifth ring, and it's it's one thing to be going for five rings. It's another thing to do it in the fashion that he just had his Greyhounds go out there and say, we're not going to blink. We're going to finish this game as quickly as we can. Yeah, here. you know, we mentioned, we've talked a lot about how they had a strange offseason. He left for a couple of weeks uh, to take the job at Aquila, came back to Strawn. I think he's glad he came back to Strawn because obviously a lot of talent on that roster but but he does such a phenomenal job with that program and you know it, it's going to get lost in this in in this game because of how it ended but Motley County a tremendous year under coach Mike Bigham uh, it's the end of the of the career of Jake Richards a, a, a six-man football record holder uh, it's it's you know it's sad to see him go out like that but at the same time uh, they were facing down a juggernaut today in Strawn they, they they were by far the better team out there and they showed it uh, good crowd out there the fun atmosphere here for six-man football a, a fitting conclusion to a six-man football season that's been uh, a little bit full of ups and downs, but Strawn pretty clearly the best team in 1A Division Two. And so Strawn Greyhounds wrap out our six-man football play with a 73 uh, to 28. 28 victory over Motley County as a 45. Better, you better wake up, girl. <laughs> and that'll do it here.